Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for attending this session about uh, enhancement on OpenStack networking for Carrier Cloud Platform. My name is Jim Makishi, a uh, network architect of NTT Communications. I have engaged to NTT SDN Cloud project for four years and contributed to launch multiple SDN enabled service in production. And currently, I'm leading a network part of the cloud project to develop a, a brand new cloud platform uh, named Next Generation uh, Cloud Platform. Today, I'm going to describe how we enhance the OpenStack networking for this uh, carrier cloud platform. This is the agenda of today's uh, session. Uh, first, I will make a brief introduction about our next generation cloud platform and its architecture. And then uh, for today's uh, main topic, uh, I will describe how uh, we uh, enhance the OpenStack networking uh, by combining the vendor solution features. And next demo and conclusion will come next. So uh, for the introduction, uh, I will describe our new cloud platform and how we are going to integrate OpenStack and vendor solutions. So uh, this is the concept of our next generation cloud platform. And well, uh, actually, Mr. Krihara will describe its detail and the service concept in the next session. So I won't go in the detail, but uh, I just want to insist that uh, in this cloud platform, we will introduce SDN technology to connect uh, multiple various cloud resources, including public cloud, hosted private cloud, and bare metal server, and also storage service. And also, uh, we are going to provide APIs to customers. And this is the brief system architecture of our platform. Uh, we have developed the platform based on microservice design, uh, same as OpenStack does. And uh, because I'm mainly uh, uh, leading the network part, in this session, I will focus on networking part. Uh, and actually, uh, the, the network service. The network service, we take advantages of OpenStack technologies, uh, which means neutron APIs. And this is the whole network architecture of our cloud platform. Um, to meet our enterprise customer needs, we need to uh, support connectivity for the bare metal servers. And also, uh, we need to uh, provide uh, high quality gateways service. And also, uh, we need to, uh, we want to uh, provide various NFP service to customers. And to connect each component, we use uh, SDN controller. And on top of the controller, we will use, uh, we are using uh, our original orchestrator named Elastic Service Infrastructure. And this is the uh, whole uh, concept of the, our approach. Um, we categorize two types of service in networking. One is cloud networking here, and second, is the network application and functions. Since network, uh, cloud networking is, uh, sorry, uh, cloud networking is uh, to provide connectivity between components, and because it is simple and, you know, uh, Neutron has a well-defined network abstraction here uh, for layer to layer three networking and IP address management, uh, we would like to uh, fully utilize open source technology Neutron here. And also for the second category, uh, we have, we define network functions here. And for this category, uh, I, we believe that there are many various NFB or other uh, appliance vendors 
compete and they have uh, competitive features on this. Uh, so we want to is integrate such uh, competitive vendor solutions to the uh, open source cloud networking and provide the whole service as a network as a service to the enterprise customer. And this is the brief description of the, our orchestrator named Elastic Service Infrastructure. Uh, this is developed by NTT Innovation Institute, Inc. And this was originally developed for Software Defined One, but we enhanced its capability to support cloud platform because uh, this ESI has a powerful, uh, powerful feature to enable us to integrate VNF easily. Uh, I will describe this uh, in later. So uh, from this section, uh, I will describe the difficulties we faced on integrating OpenStack networking and vendor solutions and show some examples of our approaches. Well, uh, before going to the details, I just list up the fit and the gap between Neutron and, those, and our use cases. Uh, we have many use cases to, for, to meet enterprise customer need, like networking uh, connectivity between VMs or bare metal server, internet gateway, VPN gateway, and NFD. <laughs> Uh, we found that uh, we can fully utilize the neutron uh, functionality for the networking between VMs, but uh, not for the others, we found that we need to extend or add APIs to meet our use cases. I know that uh, there are several ongoing uh, discussion and projects to uh, have such uh, to meet such features, but uh, we believe that. Uh, such project is not uh, matured yet, and also uh, it doesn't perfectly fit to our use case. So, uh, so uh, I will begin in, begin describing the, our approaches. Uh, first, uh, the most fund fundamental functionality we need to uh, provide layers of connectivity between leaves and and also virtual routers. Uh, though I didn't describe it here. But uh, we don't want to uh, expose the underlay topology to customers. Well, um, I think this is the uh, same approach as Neutron does. Uh, we introduce a virtualized overlay network and, uh, and fully utilize the net network abstraction, uh, which Neutron does. To be spe specific, uh, we define, uh, we uh, use apply the same idea of the neutron using network, subnet, and port resource to customers. I think this is quite uh, simple enough for customers, and I like this approach it's because uh, users do not need to uh, think about the underrated topology, but just need to think about his or her own tenant network topology. But uh, for the bare metal support, uh, we couldn't use the current AP, Neutron API to, to support it. Um, you know, uh, enterprise customer wants the bare metal server for their mission critical applications or uh, as a, say a hybrid cloud, hybrid hosted private cloud. In such, in if user want to, customer want to build their own cloud on top of our platform, they want to uh, decide the, the VLAN segmentation by themselves. But I know that they, we have, in Neutron project, we have layer two gateway discussion, but as far as I know, it doesn't support uh, to delegate the VLAN segmentation to customers. So what we decide is to uh, introduce new resource named physical port. This is a abstraction of a bare metal server NIC and fully dedicated to the customers. So in this case, a user has a bare metal server's physical port as a network resource. And by choosing the VLAN ID, user can uh, ease, uh, freely connect the bare metal physical port to their designated network. And uh, 
And for the gateway support, uh, as you know, uh, the, uh, in the cloud network, uh, all of the traffic, uh, uh, I mean, the gateway is the point that many traffic uh, converged. So we need a robust, stable, and high performance gateway for the uh, enterprise customers to make sure that uh, the customers won't face a service outage. So uh, for this approach, we just uh, use the physical router uh, in HA style, as we done, as we have done in many d data centers, and introduce a uh, new uh, new resource named Gateway as an abstraction of pair of router. Uh, I know that there are there is a resource named Router in Neutron. But rather than using that model, uh, because we need to add more gateway-specific feature on this uh, gateway resource, we uh, made a uh, uh, completely uh, separate resource for this. And one of the gateway-specific feature is the multiple gateway option. Well, uh, as a network service provider, we have many types of uh, external network to be provided to customers, like internet or MPS, VPN. And in the, also in the external network service, we also have uh, many types of uh, ser uh, service grade, like 10 megabps guarantee or best way for 100 megabps. And what we want to do is to let customer choose their uh, what the uh, external network they want to use. And for ex so uh, what we do is to uh, provide a resource to this stop by customers ab uh, about the external networks and let them choose the external network and instantiate the VPN or the internet gateway. In this case, a uh, customer can uh, connect to their, maybe their branch office or center office by a secure uh, MPS VPN, while uh, they can uh, provide some web service through the internet service. And next, the, and uh, more, one of the most important topic is NFV. So um, we want to support customers to uh, boot and monitor various virtual network funct functions, named BNF. But uh, as you may know, uh, booting and managing uh, BNF is not handy enough for customers. So we, d we want to uh, manage uh, the such monitoring or booting stuff, onboarding stuff, on behalf of customers. But we don't want to. Uh, lose the vendor appliance features. So our approach is to provide managed BNF API as like a BNF firewall resource and load balancer resource. But only manage the boot, booting process and monitoring process on behalf of customer and just expose the vendor API and UI. So in this picture, customer will ask us uh, elastic service infrastructure to boot the BNF and configure the network configuration. But uh, after that, uh, your customer can utilize fully, enjoy the BNF specific feature directly. And this is a tenant view of customer, uh, provided to customer. Uh, I think in Neutron we have firewall as a service, but uh, such firewall as a service applies a firewall rule to hold a tenant network. But uh, what we want to do is to provide a single component of firewall instance to let customer uh, decide their to network topology. And but. Uh, because we want to provide various VNF to customers, uh, we want to reduce time to market to uh, provide the features. But 
uh, each BNF has different boot sequence, like uh, they have a different license activation process and so. So uh, we want to uh, easily uh, onboard the BNF feature to our networks. What we use is the Gohan framework used in Elastic Service Infrastructure to define a BNF specific template easily. Well, uh, for the detail of the Gohan framework, uh, uh, we, will, we will have a session tomorrow. So if you are interested in, please check it out the session tomorrow. What we do is to, uh, because uh, to define the VNF specific configuration, we made a VNF template uh, using a uh, powerful uh, Gohan schema and template features. And, and last, for, last topic for the NFV uh, and the most important one is that uh, we want to provide a network attachment detachment feature to customers. As I described before, uh, we want to provide the uh, firewall or load balancer and so on as a single component which user can uh, decide the network topology. So, but, uh, so it means that we want to provide customer to freely attach a network and detach from the network. But we found that uh, if we just use the Nova interface detach API, Nova just removes the interface and squashes the PCI number. Eventually, BNF tried to follow up the, the squash and the interface number will be changed. It means that uh, if we uh, remove a network, then the user network topology will be messed up. And it was quite a big problem for us because we want to provide a free in network attachment detachment. What we do is to provide, a, we change our idea and not to uh, d detach or attach interface itself, but just provide a feature to unplug the network. So we define the BNF as with a persistent NICs, with a fixed number of persistent NICs. Like in this case, we have BNF, firewall BNF with six NICs uh, pre-installed and user can specify which NIC to be connected to uh, what, uh, which network. And last topic for the, our challenging. Uh, after we uh, provide the network resource to the customer, we also need to monitor the operational state and metrics because we, we want to know that what is going on in the, in the actual uh, infrastructure and let the customer know that uh, it's available or not and also how many resources they, they have used. To do so, we utilize the Elastic Service Infrastructure's monitoring functionality to uh, monitor the, the V router and this, the top of lock switches uh, operational state and metrics. As a result, we can provide metrics per customer resource. That, and as a result, user can know that what, how many traffic they have used per resource. And also, if there is some uh, infrastructure failure, then we can uh, change the operational state of the resource and let customer know that it is not available. Uh, we believe that this approach highly uh, improved the quality of the, our service. Uh, it improved the visibility of the network service. Well, and I prepared a simple demo to uh, describe uh, our approach. And in this demo, uh, we will create a network resource one by one through API. This is the demo network topology. Uh, this demo's goal is to let bare metal server connect to the external server over internet. Uh, because this is done in the lab, uh, please assume that this 192.168.0.0.16 is the public IP range. 
And to connect the server to the external ser server, uh, we will create two types of network. One is the internal network, and second, external network. And for the internal network, we will assign private IP address and connect the biometric server's VLAN interface, not the physical interface, and also connect the firewall. And for the external network, we will create uh, uh, internet gateway to make sure that uh, the packets will go to the internet and subscribe the public IP from the gateway service and attach the firewall. Please note that uh, I haven't described this feature, but uh, we also extend the gateway feature to let customers subscribe a block of public IP. So in this case, uh, we will ask the gateway service to uh, have a block of public IP and assign it to this external network directly. This is the demo. Let me start. Oh. Oops. <coughs> oh, oh. Okay. So first, we will create the internal network using a Neutron client. This shows that uh, our API is compatible with Neutron API, and we can use the Neutron client to create a simple app network. And also, we can use the Neutron client to create a subnet to assign a private network, a private IP address. And then uh, we will connect the biometric server's VLAN interface to the inter internal network. This is our completely uh, brand new API named uh, physical port. And this physical port is dedicated to customers so customer can see that what kind of physical port they are using. And then uh, using the physical port as a device ID, we will create the port resource specifying the segmentation ID VLAN ID 100 and also specifying the network to be attached. Yeah, this is the result. Well, uh, this is also compatible with the uh, Neutron API. We extended some of the attributes, like segmentation ID and segmentation type, but uh, the rest of the resource is the same. And we to prepare the connectivity test, we will log into the bare metal server and configure IP address. Yeah, configured. And ping to the external server. But because we haven't created a firewall in the internet, uh, of course, it's unreachable. Next, uh, we will create the internet gateway. So first, we will uh, list up the uh, available internet service using the API. And we only have one a single uh, internet service provider for this use, uh, demo. And also, uh, also next, a uh, user can uh, list up the QoS option to connect, create the internet gateway. In this use case, uh, we, can, we, we only have a best of 10 megabps option here. And to create the internet gateway, we specify the service ID we listed before and also the QoS, QoS option uh, we saw. It. And the gateway instance has been created. And before attach, creating the external network, we need to subscribe a public IP from the gateway service. We just specify how the length of the submask sub length of the public IP to subscribe from the gateway service. Then our uh, network service will uh, automatically allocate the available IP, public IP address to customer. In this case, 192.168.2360. 
.0/28 is the public IP block offered to customer. And again, using the network neutron client, we will create a network and subnet. And here we specify the public IP address, which is subscribed. And then uh, we will attach the intern gateway to the external network. Just we need to specify what, what, what IP address to use for the internet gateway. And last, uh, we will create the firewall. In this case, we specify two networks, internal network and external network, and cr create the firewall instance. In this model, uh, we only support two NIC, and each of the network is attached to uh, external network and internal network. And let's check the connectivity from parameter server to external server again. Uh, well, it takes time to boot firewalls, so yeah. Finally, uh, the parameter server can connect to the external server now. Well, that this is all for the demo. I think it's uh, too simple, but uh, I think you can easily know that uh, we in introduce and extend uh, Neutron API to meet our enterprise customer needs. So, conclusion. Um, Recap. Uh, let me recap. Uh, we have integrated uh, OpenStack networking with uh, vendor solutions because we need to uh, meet uh, enterprise customer needs of high quality, availability, and scalability, and flexibility, and so on. And to uh, meet, uh, to overcome the difficulties, uh, we extended the API as I showed. And also, uh, please note that we take advantage of both hardware and software appliance. Uh, we don't stick to the one single technology, but we will choose uh, hardware, either via hardware or software, uh, upon uh, per uh, request. And of course, uh, because we have created a brand new API based on our uh, original orchestrator, we are within to feedback our outcomes to the OpenStack upstream. And actually, I like the uh, Neutron Programmable approach to adding extensions, but I feel that uh, we would like to have a more faster process to introduce new service API as we've done. And also, uh, just one thought that uh, introducing OpenStack in production has not only in, uh, had, requires not only a technical approach, but also uh, from a perspective of deployment process and vendor support, uh, we face that uh, there are some barriers, still, still have a barriers. So uh, we like to keep uh, watching uh, and contributing to the OpenStack community to uh, make sure that uh, OpenStack uh, new networking can also uh, meet the enterprise customer needs. And this feature is, will be available on, in the next generation cloud platform. We were installed in the production. Uh, uh, one advertisement. Uh, uh, one of the key technology we used in uh, ESI uh, go named Gohan uh, we, it will be open sourced and the detail will be described in the Thursday session. So please uh, attend to this session if you are interested in it. Well, I, and also uh, we have uh, Entity Con booth. So uh, if you have some questions, uh, you can ask now, but uh, after that I will be around there. So uh, please, uh, ask me questions uh, freely.
thank you for uh, listening to my presentation. Any questions? I think I have 10 minutes left. If you have, uh, please directly access to me. Thank you.